हेलो एंड वेलकम टू पट्टा फास्ट कुछ घंटों पहले मैंने और उस्मान ने एपिसोड रिकॉर्ड की मगर फिर हमने ख़त्म की तो हमें अंदाज़ा हुआ कि जो सबसे मज़ेदार बातें थी वो एंड में हुई हैं और जो सबसे बोरिंग बात थी वो सबसे शुरू में हुई है तो अब हमने ये सोचा है कि पहले अभी मैं आपको जो एंड वाला पार्ट है वो चलाएँगे फिर मिडल एंड दैन द बिगिनिंग आई होप इट डजेंट फ्री क्यू आउट और एनी थिंग By the way, एक मैं निहायती एम्बेसिंग एक एडमिशन करना चाहूंगा कि हमने ये एपिसोड करी है तकरीबन पचास मिनट हो गए इस एपिसोड में ना सिर्फ हमने डेटा जो हमारे पास रखा हुआ है बॉम्ब शेल ऑफ डेटा वो नहीं डिस्कस कर रहा है लेकिन हमने शाहीन आफरीदी का इंस्टा पोस्ट I just I was thinking this today, um, और ये अब थोड़ा सा नीच है मगर हमारी पॉडकास्ट बहुत ही नीच है I was just thinking man तलहा पे क्या गुजर रही है you know like तलहा is सब like I I met तलहा before he was an agent he was in in tech and I was also the Pakistan tech space I think listeners को बता दो कि तलहा कौन है so that they know exactly who is someone फिर तलहा basically launched his माशाल्लाह से very successful venture in player management और फिर ये रिजवान शाही बाबर ये सब के एजेंट तला है आपको इसलिए भी पता होगा क्योंकि जाका अशरफ की जो ऑडियो लीक हुई थी उस पर वो बड़ी गालियां दे रहे थे तलहा को एंड यू नो लाइक आई वॉज शॉक लाइक आई गेस यू नो आई टॉकिंग टू समी में वेल नोन अमंगस्टलीस्ट लाइक यू नो नॉट कैजल फैंस बट इफ यूर स्लाइटली फॉर सीरियस यू नो हू तला इज तो वही के तला पे क्या गुजर रही है तो uh, एक तो के शाहीन ने कल जो ट्वीट किया अगर आज की स्टोरी है ही जस्ट पोस्टेड थ्री लाफिंग क्राइम यू नो दैट लाफिंग इमोजी थिंग सो यू नो दिस दिस दैट्स वेयर मे बी द तला क्राइसिस मैनेजमेंट सिचुएशन हैज अराइव बट बट इट इट्स लाइक अ क्लासिक रिस्पांस यू नो यूजिंग द ईगल and and don't test my patience and all this like like threat 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 is is there a a statement of intent threat, there's also like I feel now. it's a open threat by especially by Pakistani standards is he threatening is he threatening the chairman for doing this because you know humne Daniel ne is story pe is he threatening Babar no because Babar ke saath uski tasveer bhi ek hai very friendly from the Kakul camp and all by the way the Kakul camp is another whole topic that I can't believe we haven't discussed maybe we should do a quickie episode on the Kakul camp also because... Kakul camp pe main sirf ye kehna chahunga ke there is a guy there making content in it for an for some platform that has zero presence on social media and of course wo unka unka rishta kis पहले जमाने में जब आपका सोशल मीडिया नहीं होता था प्लेयर्स इतने ही बड़े स्टार्स होते थे प्लेयर्स के पास कोई ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं था अनलेस यू टुक लाइक अ डायरेक्ट शॉट एट समी यू नो यू कम फॉर द किंग यू वेर नॉट मिस अनलेस यू टुक अ डायरेक्ट शॉट एट समी थ्रू द उस जमाने में जो जो जर्नलिस्ट थे ना लाइक गाइज लाइक वहीद खान एंड माइज भटीन ऑल दीज गाइज used to be like the absolute peak of their work was when they got one big player blasting a board chairman on the record wah chap do har akhbar mein har tv channel pe chal rahi hai khabar now players don't need to do that they can do these it's not even cryptic people have been calling it like a cryptic post it's not cryptic dude it's like straight out full frontal attack on basically the pcb for screwing him over kuch bhi bilkul ke matlab log is pe क्रिप्टिक तो यूजुअली इस किस्म के पोस्ट ना ही सिर्फ क्रिकेट में और चीजों में भी क्रिप्टिक नेचर के ही होते हैं राइट बट लाइक के यहाँ पे उसने फुल का है डोंट टेस्ट माय पेशेंस पर एंड आई आल्सो फील के यू नो शाहीन के बारे में आई रियली रिस्पेक्ट दिस के ही इज रियली बिन अबाउट बींग हिज ओन पर्सन एंड हीज अ सुपर स्टार ही इज अमेजिंग क्रिकेटर बट शाही फादर लॉ इज शाहिद आफरीदी ब्रो लाइक I mean, <laughs> if you want a PhD in Pakistani politics, like like Shahid Afridi, ki jo political understanding hai. Agar wo uski cricket talent hota, to wo matlab you know Brad. I am. I will. 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 I will
अपनी पूरी करियर डिसओन कर दूंगा जर्नलिज्म में अगर ये बात सच नहीं है कि शाहिद आफरीदी ने इसमें काफी बड़ा रोल प्ले करा है एंड एडवाइजिंग शाहीन हाउ टू गो अबाउट दिस आई विल चेंज माय नेम आई डोंट नो टू समथिंग एल्स अगर ये सच नहीं है कि शाहिद ने प्रोबेबली शाहीन को एक वक्त पे रोका फ्रॉम मेकिंग अ पब्लिक स्टेटमेंट अबाउट बींग एंग्री अबाउट एंड यू नो बिकॉज जो स्टोरी दानियाल ने करी थी जो बहुत जबरदस्त रिपोर्टिंग करी है दानियाल ने जस्ट अप आउट शॉर्ट आउट हिम that you know that that statement that the pcb put out jisme shaheen bahut pyar se keh raha hai ki nahi nahi babar mera bhai hai main to full support kar raha hu main bahut khush hu for being sacked that was a bs statement aur shaheen was on the verge of making a statement a public statement that day jab hua hai ye usi din but i'm very confident that shahid afridi would have counseled him advised him ke abhi nahi karo aise nahi karo tum to ye khabar aa gayi hai ab tum wait karo iska repercussions kya hai Mohsin Naqvi will talk to you directly, which he did. But we also know that that conversation also left Shaheen dissatisfied. Like they agreed to kind of move on, but he was still unhappy, which is why then this post came out. And Lala's game on like social media and stuff is low key legendary. You know? I mean, Lala managed the so pre-social media game. Bhi thi, he was king of it. Like you know, like Lala never had his own account, but he had his Twitter that he would use. But he was. Like like even before that, like he could also Majid Bhatti, Wahid Khan, jisko bhi kya batana hai, kya batana hai. he's the master of it and I completely agree with it और फिर वहां पर भी जो 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 मैं मजेदार चीज ये थी कि काकुल में तस्वीर आई है मोहसे नकवी और शाहीन हाथ मिलाते हुए और उनके बीच में आमिर ऐसे देख रहा है it's like you know the हर frame में कोई ना कोई सब टेक्सट आपका इतना है क्योंकि मतलब एट द एंड ऑफ द डे लाइक हमने पहले भी बात की थी पर मुझे अभी भी इतनी हंसी आ रही है कि लाइक यू नो आई एम बाबर आई शो अप फॉर डे वन ऑफ वर्क आई गॉट दीज टू गाइस देयर जो कब से कह रहे हैं ये चूत क्या है ये चूत क्या है ये चूत है वो अब वो आ गए वापस वन ऑफ देम वाज जस्ट वन द फ्रिकिन पीएसएल स्मोकिंग इन द ड्रेसिंग रूम लेजेंड लेवल ठीक है और फिर आपका ये कि चलो आपका जो मेन बंदा मेन स्ट्राइक बॉलर जो एक आपकी एक लीडरशिप ग्रुप था वो भी आपसे अब मतलब मारने को तुला हुआ है लाइक इट्स जस्ट ओ माय गॉड ड्यूड एब्सोल्युटली And his thing, because his whole thing is the eagle has landed. Like that's what we did. Like the whole, his whole brand is about the eagle, not the. Right, not it's, the it's not even the eagle, right? It's Shaheen to be more specific. Um, but I, 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 I यू नो कुरान की आयतें और पाकिस्तान डे और यू नो चैट जी पुटी पे के दिस कंट्री प्राउड ऑफ माइन ये वो दिस वाज एक्चुअली शाहीन जस्ट काइंड ऑफ बीइंग लाइक निकल लो एंड लाइक आई फील या दैट्स दैट्स आई आई वुड रैंक इट आई थिंक ओनली उमर अकमल हु इज इन अ कैटेगरी ऑफ हिज ओन हैज हैज सरपास दिस But you know, if you if you take Umar Akmal out, this this is the greatest non Umar Umar Akmal social media post in in and Pakistan. And how yeah, how we done this? That this episode basically you will have to wait right till the end for the fun to start. Like how we social it that we've done this, we've done it the wrong this way because, around. This is because we woke up sleepy or aista aista neend khatam ho rahi thi. So ab jaan mein jaan aayi hai. So pehle man, this this episode is gonna get bad views. You can't say it. Please don't we'll tell them. We if you've made it, if if you've made it till the one hour ten minutes, forget the Champions League. It sucks. It's all in about fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, I'll do this right now. ये मैं अभी से आपको बता रहा हूँ कि ना मैं ये edit हम लोग edit ऐसे करेंगे कि अब जो आप देखेंगे दाल बियार शाहीन discussion, then I'll put the boring stuff that we discussed. So that uh, you know, you're getting us at our at our funnest at the start. You know, that's what we should have done. Welcomed you with a bag instead of. I can't believe you missed that shit. Well, anyways, now you have it. Our opinion on on China free these posts, um, and we'll discuss more of that later. Okay, so here the show was finished, but obviously, we have to move on. 
सो नेक्स्ट अप वी डिस्कसिंग रैम्बो एंड देन उसके बाद विल बी द इंट्रो ऑफ द शो एंड द फर्स्ट साइड बट खैर ये बहुत देर हमने एक मनूस टॉपिक पे बात की है और उससे ज्यादा मनूस टॉपिक पे तरफ में जाना चाहता हूँ टू मोर थिंग डिस्कस बोथ पाकिस्तान से रिलेटेड और एक ये है कि बहुत दफा में कॉमेंट्स आई हैं रमीज राजा के बारे में आप लोग और एज चेयरमैन बहुत ज्यादा क्रिटिसाइज करते हैं और इसकी क्या वजह है और हमें समझाएंगे वो और पिछले हफ्ते मैंने बहुत बड़ी गलती की क्योंकि मैं बहुत अरसे से सोशल मीडिया से दूर रह रहा हूँ मगर यू नो मैंने कमेंट्स में किसी से बहस करना शुरू कर दी एंड यू नो फिर एक जो पहली बात है ना कि बहुत सारे लाइक पीपल आर लाइक के नहीं आपको पसंद ही नहीं इसलिए आप उसकी बुराई करते हैं रिपोर्टिंग एंड रिसर्चिंग ऑन थिंग्स एक्सेट्रा तो एटलीस्ट इस वजह से हम नहीं आ रहे कि बस हमें बुरा लगता है वो तो अगर यू नो यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस वन मेक श्योर यूर कॉमेंटिंग एंड विल मेक श्योर ट्राई एड्रेस इट ऑन दी एपिसोड लाइक तो रवीश राजा के जो रवीश राजा के एक्चुअली जो जो एज एन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर मसले हैं इट एक्चुअली फॉर अस एंड आई स्पीक फॉर उस्मान बट आई नो वी डिस्कस दिस एट ग्रेट लेंथ के वो दोनों स्पेल्स की तरफ जाते हैं क्योंकि ही वाज सीईओ ड्यूरिंग जनरल मुशर्रफ एरा और उस टॉकीज दिया के टाइम पे और क्या कहते हैं उस वक्त जो रवीन राजा एक्चुअली हैड लाइक एन इंपैक्ट व्हिच इज मेक्स हिम मोर इन्फ्लुएंशियल देन एनीबॉडी इन पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट और उस पे हसन चीमा रिहान ने आई वर्क विद देम ऑन दैट रोट दिस रियली ग्रेट सेट ऑफ आर्टिकल्स फॉर डॉन वेयर They talked about pitches and balls because ये दो चीजें हैं रमीश राजा साहब ने बनाई थी उस वक्त ये कहते हुए कि हमारी pitches बहुत ज़्यादा ये Asian type हैं और batting front की ये वो हमें foreign pitches के चाहिए होंगी और like foreign conditions के लिए you know pitches चाहिए और balls चाहिए so they switched the balls that we use in domestic cricket they switched the pitches and what as those articles go in detail और मैं उसको link कर दूँगा तो आप आप तस्वीर में पढ़ लीजिएगा कि This caused a generation of cricketers who, जो batters थे, उनको सिर्फ survive करने आता था, क्योंकि हमारी domestic pitches ही ऐसी नहीं, और जो bowlers थे, खासतौर पे pacers, there was no point in going very fast or developing a lot of skills, because those balls were extremely unpredictable, और वो पहले मतलब, you know, there's a lot of crazy movement in cricket. और इसीलिए आपकी 2010s, late 2000s में जो बहुत सारे खिलाड़ी आ रहे थे, जो batters were not able to compete. With the big hitting of international cricketers, your bowlers, those express pace or whatever, नहीं आ रही थी और वो आपको PSL के आते ही foreign बाद that kind of resumes. But for those seven eight years in the middle, that was Ravi's Raja's changes that caused like a decade of loss. ये तो मतलब पहले से ही baggage लेके आ रहे थे रैंपो और फिर उनको हाल ही में इमरान खान ने chairman बनाया. And again, there's a bunch of points there. Like, um, Usman, you want to take over? I I I want to Go and discuss the PGL in depth, but there was other things he was doing as well. Yeah, so okay, you know, even even in his first stint, like I, I I've covered both of his stints as a journalist. Um, his first stint when he was CEO, you know, he okay, this was a huge thing that he did. The pitches or ball katha ye galat tha. He also ek jo unke uske khilaf criticism kafi regular thi us zamane mein was that he had re re geographied. the regional structure of games mm-hmm. so he had created these regions that hadn't existed as regions which had taken the power away from those like city associations of cricket and state associations and all he, he restructured that completely and a lot of people were like yaar apne ye ek fake region bana diya hai jo nahi hona chahiye so you know that was it although on the plus side he did help he was involved in like one of the first big broadcast deals of this century jo pcb ka sign up hua tha ten sports ke sath he Uh, also played a pretty big role with Shahryar Khan in that India series, the first India series, you know, that came home to Pakistan. Commercially, he played a big role, but also logistically, he handled it pretty well. I seem to remember. So, you know, he had these things. This part, we yeah, just to mention that when he broadcast, that was the other controversy. That as CEO, yeah. he was yeah. also commentating. That was the <laughs> that was the thing that kind of brought him down. You know, that was the thing that kind of brought him down. But for example, he was the guy who reached out to Bob Bulmer. 
to bring him right. in as coach with Sharia at that time. So, you know, plus and minus. So this time, jo, jo sabse badi issue thi na, wo ye thi again structural. Wo ye thi ke aapka jo chal raha tha board executive jo chal raha tha, bohut saalo ke baad ek sahi usme uh, divestment of power thi between the chairman and the chief and the executive. So executive aapka jo hai, wo kaam karta hai board mein, they do the stuff and the chairman sits on top, is like the the pretty face for the public and also very broad strategic brush strokes of like what you need to do. Ehsan Mani was chairman and Wasim Khan was chief executive and before them it was Sharia Khan and Adam Sethi and you know it was it was good in that thoda sa friction bhi tha between both the parts so between Ehsan Mani and Wasim Khan a healthy friction and there was healthy bordering on the unhealthy friction between Sharia Saab and, and Najam Sethi but you need that in an organization as big and important as the PCB, right? You don't want just one guy controlling everything. You want to have a different sort of opinions. You want to have different people running it. Wo Rambo killed off straight away when he came. And, and that was partly because of his, you know, love and obsession for Imran Khan. Imran Khan said, ki, yaar, tumhi bas chalao bold Rambo. And Rambo took that to mean that bas sirf main hi chalaunga aur sab decisions choti ya badi main lunga. Main ek de facto cheerleader coach bhi ban jaunga players ke liye. Main uh, pitches bhi oversee karunga, main executive kaam bhi karunga, main face to the public bhi banunga, main media spokesperson bhi ban jaunga. Har jo power hai na, aap kisi se bhi baat karo us, us tenure mein, senior officials se baat karo aap. They were like, he's basically taken over all our roles. And without telling us, without drawing any lines about where his roles are, where Arbitrary. our roles are. Arbitrarily. Aapko ek, ek baat hi boli gai hai and then suddenly... Rambles on the, the, the chairman of the board should not be saying that we Australia to drop in pitches. Chahiye. He should not be negotiating uh, the the import of or even the decision to have it, but he should not be uh, negotiating the import of a drop in pitch from Australia. That's not his job. It's really not his job. At most, that's the CEO's job or the cricket operations guy. That's his job or like director cricket or whatever. But it's any power centralized kar di thi Rambo de, that he's brought it back which is where it is now you know he's brought it back to that old days the bad old days ka system jo tha 90s mein you know one of the great things about marhum sharyar sahab was that jo bhi wo tenure mein aaye na he always had strong and sound and sometimes opposing counsel working with him so there were people like salim altaf and all who were difficult to work with because they were had very strong opinions and strong experiences and he many times would have had situations where he did not agree with what they wanted, but he let them go ahead with it because he saw, you know, the greater interest. He was allowing other people to have a stake in this game. What Rambo did, and, and this is the thing that I probably will hold against this tenure the most, is that he completely centralized it. And he's now set the scene for uh, Azak Ashraf, Anajam Sethi, and now Mohsin Nagvi, who are you know, chairman aaye, who de facto are the board. Or aapki ko, yes. kaun baat, kaun hai Salman Nasir ke baare mein, ya Usman Wala ke baare mein, kaun se baate karta hai, kaun decision making deta hai, when you have one guy sitting at the top who's controlling it all effectively. Not just controlling it, but when you have one guy sitting at the top who's controlling it all board of officials, you can talk to him. You know, it's not just the pitches or broadcast beams or whatever, it's just little things that during the matches, the phone is coming, that this is the guy who's here, this is the guy who's here, now, I will not press conference in 15 minutes. Mein. Like it, I think what you just said is exactly right. Ke he created the situation where he said that the Pacha was the Pacha. He was the Pacha. He was the That's the law. Right? Like that is now what the chairman has been operating like. Ke the chairman says whatever the hell he wants to. And this is not just Rambo, but Rambo said that up as you're pointing out. The other thing I wanted to talk about was that he. You know, ke ek tha ke ye Rambo Aitzen se hai. Rambo has worked in the cricket industry for so long. He's an ex-player. So he's going to make decisions that are either, like, you know, at least financially rational. He has, wo khud unko baut bada yakin tha ke mein itne corporate con- contacts hain ke Pakistan cricket mein paise ki, you know, aap shahar le hao. Um, aur usi ke saath saath ke, you know, he's an ex-player. So he knows, you know, itne arse se players ka phatna chal raha over over how much, you know, so, hmm. age old issue. But the Rambo was, I don't know if he was involved, but his elder brother was involved in that generation. You know, counties, Kilnikilie, Zada rights, Kilnikilie, etc. Right? So, 
उन सारे फ्रंट्स पे ही वॉज एब्सोलूटली टेरिफुल अगर आप छोटी छोटी चीजें ले लें कि आपने आर एस पहले को बोला कि जी वो ड्रॉप इन पिचेस लानी है ड्रॉप इन पिचेस इसलिए आई थी कि मल्टी वेन्यू मल्टी इवेंट वेन्यूज पे ना कि आपने क्रिकेट मैच खेला है नेक्स्ट डे कॉन्सर्ट होगा उसके बाद फुटबॉल मैच होगा ये वो तो वहां पे आप ड्रॉप इन पिच लाते हैं उसका मतलब ही बिकेम अपसेस्ड विद क्योंकि ऑस्ट्रेलिया में ये मतलब क्यों है क्या है उसकी जरूरत है नहीं है ये अब हम मैं खरीद रहा हूँ ये आ रही है फिर उसके पैसे जी आरिफ हबीब से एम साइन हो गया है एंड वी नेवर हर्ड एनीथिंग अबाउट इट दिस वाज अ रिकरिंग प्रॉब्लम विद दिस प्रेमियर ऑफ रैंगो द थिंग दैट एक्चुअली प्लेयर्स को बहुत ज्यादा याद है और आई थिंक ऐसी चीज है ना मोरल और और ट्रस्ट को बहुत ज्यादा इम्पैक्ट करती है आपने आके ऐलान किया कि जी आप इंडिया को हराने वर्ल्ड कप में और मैंने एक बड़े बिजनेस से बात कर दिया और वो बेतहाशा पैसे ले और उन्हें इंडिया को हरा दिया समथिंग दैट नो वन इन पाकिस्तान हैड डन ऑन द मैन टीम फॉर थर्टी ईयर और आपने एकदम से इस बात को गायब मतलब कुछ कभी उस पर दोहरा ही नहीं कि हाँ क्या हो चल रहा है क्या नहीं चल रहा है और ये बहुत सारे प्लेयर्स को याद है अब ये इस किस्म की ये एम टी प्रोमिस छोटी मोटी चीजें राइट अब आते हैं पी जे एल की तरफ जो एक और लॉजिस्टिकल थिंग्स पीजेएल की तरफ लोग आई थिंक सबसे ज्यादा इस पे नाराज होते हैं कि यार पीजेएल पे आप क्यों नहीं उसकी तारीफ करते और मुझे समझ आता है क्योंकि हमारे शो का नाम है पट्टा फाद पिछले वाले का नाम क्योंकि पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट में एक तारीफ है पेश होने की उसी तरीके से पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट में एक तारीफ है यंग खिलाड़ी आके सुपर स्टार बन जाते हैं It was done in such a stupid way. पहली बात ये थी कि आपने कोशिश की कि छह या पांच नई फ्रेंचाइजेस खड़ी कर देंगे यही कर देना की जो एग्जिस्टिंग क्लब है फ्रेंचाइज उनसे कहते हैं यार अपना एक वेमेन्स को भी कर दें बिकॉज दैट देव ऑलरेडी इन्वेस्टेड टू क्रिएट दैट होल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सो यू डोंट हैव टू सेट समथिंग अप फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड अप और एक ये मसला इंसेंटिव अगर मैं हैदराबाद हॉक्स या जो भी चला रहा हूँ मेरा बंदा मेरे प्लेयर्स आर बिकमिंग लाइक सुपर स्टार्स गेटिंग एंडोर्समेंट बाबला विद इन अ कपल ऑफ ईयर दिल प्लेंग फॉर द नेशनल टीम दिल प्लेंग इन द पी एस एल एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट इन्वेस्टमेंट दट आई मेड विल बी रिकवर रिकूप बाई सम बेसिक मतलब इसमें कोई लॉजिक नहीं थी बट उसी को आप आगे लेके चलें कि इट वॉज गोइंग टू कैनबलाइज द पी एस एल इट्स राइट क्योंकि आपने क्योंकि उसकी एक एक्सटेंशन भी नहीं उसका हिस्सा नहीं है उसके डिफरेंट आप स्टेक होल्डर्स ला रहे हैं तो फिर यही है कि मतलब जो स्पॉन्सर्स हैं आपके वैसे ही पाकिस्तान इकोनॉमी सक्स एंड देन इवन द वन दैट एग्जिस्ट उसमें मतलब सारा पैसा आप अनप्रोडक्टिव चीजें जैसे कि रियल एस्टेट में डाल देते हैं एक्सेट्रा दिस नॉट अ लॉट ऑफ मनी गोइंग अराउंड एंड द पी एस एल एज फाउंड इज वेरी क्विकली रीच द सैचुरेशन पॉइंट ऑफ थिंग्स वहां पे आपने अब एक नई लीग खड़ी करेंगे वो कुछ लोग हमसे कमेंट्स में कहते हैं कि आप मुल्क में मल्टीपल लीग्स कर सकते हैं मे बी ऑफ अदर स्पोर्ट्स और मे बी इफ यू हैड इट सच दैट दिस एक्सटेंड्स विद द करंट पीएसएल फ्रेंचाइजेस देन यस नॉट इन दिस वे तीसरी जहां पे बात थी कि इट वाज ऑब्वियसली फाइनेंशियल डिजास्टर्स बट जब ये सारा लाइक अगेन नाउ फ्रॉम इनसाइड फ्रॉम लाइक समबडी वर्किंग इन द इंडस्ट्री दैट यू नो आई वर्क इन द प्रीवियस टू पीएसएलस एंड देयर वाज you know i'd come in as a consultant bcb had reached out a couple of times so phir that same cycle happened that year but aur usme hota hai ki bcb reach out karta hai but like you know you'll get calls from like agencies saying ki hum ye show mm. karne lage hain are you available somebody else would be like yaar hum we need someone for this that ek buzz aapko samajh aa jati hai industry ke andar everyone you know is getting some kind of work back then nobody knew psl aane wali thi and everyone was like hame पीसीबी से कोई जवाब नहीं मिल रहा पीसीबी सब कहते हैं चेयरमैन से पूछे चेयरमैन पीएसएल पे गुफ्तू करने में इंटरेस्टेड ही नहीं है एंड फैक्ट द चेयरमैन देन कैंसल्ड मीटिंग विद पीएसएल ओनर्स हु वर इट वाज अ वेरी वेरी ट्रिकी सिचुएशन फॉर बिटवीन द बोर्ड एंड द ओनर्स एंड रैम्बो इज लाइक पता नहीं उनका किसी से फट्टा चल रहा था तो मैं नहीं करना मीटिंग तो वहां पे आपकी दिस इज द मेन कैश टाव फॉर क्रिकेट इन द कंट्रीज रेस्क्यू क्रिकेट इन दिस कंट्री or you've got this guy who was openly hostile to it and you know we've discussed that again this is something that zaka ashraf also carried and whatever but zaka ashraf again was never competent enough rambo was plugged in enough enough to the system to should hmm. known better magar uske bawajood unhone ye tarike ka ikhtiyar kiya tha 
यार मेरा मेरा बहुत ही एक सिंपल ऑब्जेक्शन था पीजीएल पे जो कि ये था कि आपको इसकी क्या जरूरत थी यू हैड अ पाथ वाज द ऑब्जेक्ट टू डिस्कवर टैलेंट टू डिस्कवर यंग टैलेंट यू हैव आई एम नॉट सेइंग इट्स द बेस्ट पाथवे सिस्टम इन द वर्ल्ड आई एम नॉट सेइंग इट्स द बेस्ट स्काउटिंग नेटवर्क इन द वर्ल्ड बट यू स्टिल हैव अ वर्किंग सिस्टम जहां से अगर कोई बहुत ही आउटस्टैंडिंग यंग टैलेंट आपको नजर आती है यू फास्ट ट्रैक हिम or or her into the system and they work their way through the system and they invariably get to the top cricket ki jo bhi khamiyan hai pakistan mein jo bhi flaws hain abhi bhi probably is the most meritocratic and democratic pursuit in pakistan main abhi bhi yahi maintain karta hu ki aapke paas agar genuine talent hai us game mein aap kahin na kahin aap you will come out now with the psl you actually have more avenues to kind of bring that talent out you know guys like uh there's so many players in the psl who will not be playing anywhere else but they play in the psl you know and 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 that's fine that's an avenue for them i don't think you needed the pj especially especially if it was going to be an extra cost on the board uh, because you know he started off with grand plans ki hame che franchises itne easy mil jayenge ye sponsors yeah. sponsors broadcaster bhi mil jayega product production bhi mil jayega because it's such a it wasn't a hot idea it really wasn't it was in fact like the drop in pitch idea it just was not a hot idea it was bound to fail uh, and it served zero purpose wo jo bhi players jo log kehte na ki pgl se aa gaye ye players i can't remember them off the top of my head but every player that they have said is a pgl product that's bs they're not a pgl product they're a product of the system in pakistan however wonky and frail and inefficient it is that system has been producing talent aapko shahin afridi kahan se mila hai aapko naseem shah kahan se mila hai all these guys who debuted at the age of 18 16 17 ye abhi pichle 2 3 saal ki hai main aapko example de raha hu kahan se aaye ye pjl se yahan se nahi hai bas yahan pe ye masla tha na ki aapke paas agar pjl psl ka ek organic hissa hota तो वहां पे जो मतलब वो बात है कि मुझे समझ आ रहा है कि ठीक है द लॉजिक कैन बी कि एक शाइन की जगह दस शाइन मिल जाएंगे सही है मगर वो तभी मिलेंगे जब आप एक स्ट्रक्चर के साथ चलते रहेंगे ना ये ऐसे नहीं कर सकते कि नए बंदे आ जाए लाइक इट जस्ट इट वाज सो क्रेजी क्योंकि नो वन ऑन लाइक अगेन दिस इज ऑल ऑफ द रिकॉर्ड सो यू नो आई अपोलॉजाइज फॉर दैट बट लाइक नो वन इन एनी फंक्शन ऑफ क्रिकेट इंडस्ट्री इन पाकिस्तान फेल्ट दैट दिस इज something that's going to work um no. and by that you know okay, the sponsors were unclear um you know players uh, franchise owners to iske apne to franchise owners the hi nahi magar jo aur stakeholders hain aapke paas broadcasters jo the like no one was super clear ki ye kya hone laga hai aur jahan tak ye tha ki you know i can again like in my conversation people when i was kya kehte hain the opportunity to work etc तो वहां पे ये था कि भाई जब तक चेयरमैन साहब हैं तो वो हो जाएगा विच अगेन उस वक्त क्योंकि इमरान खान की हुकूमत चली गई थी तो ये भी क्लियर नहीं था कि चेयरमैन साहब रहेंगे नहीं रहेंगे ये वो विच अगेन इज नथिंग नॉट हिज फॉल्ट ऑफ कोर्स बट द पॉइंट इज दैट दे वॉज सो मच अनसर्टेंटी बिकॉज जो पहली बात हम कर रहे थे कि सारी चीज आपने एक बंदे के हाथ में डाल दी थी और दूसरी बात जो हम कह रहे थे कि आपने क्या कहते हैं ये बिल्कुल भी इसके कोई सोच समझ नहीं थी तो Ultimately, what happened was if Rambo's there, then it's there. If he's not there, it's not there. And you know, that ultimately, even if you have the greatest idea, but you don't set up as a chairman, as a powerful, all-powerful chairman, mm-hmm. don't set it up in such a way that it sustains beyond even one edition. So, वहाँ पे ही I think that speaks to how problematic that is, because it was a huge risk. It was a huge risk where you were alienating existing stakeholders, where you threatened to cannibalize. Yeah, maybe it was super lucrative, and sponsors were like, "Yeah, our budget is so much, so we're going to put it." Then what happens to PSL? Because that actually has far bigger bills to pay. Yeah. So, where yeah. pe, you know, it comes, it comes to all those things. I think the and final we, two things, which is a plus and a minus in Rambo's time, this one was. One, I, I was surprised by how 
regressive he was with player contracts, with central contracts yeah. for the men's team. He was, you know, he was, he oversaw some fairly regressive negotiations and like the, you know, questioning the basic value of Pakistani player contracts. They they were pressured into signing off on some deals that were not good for them. Um, but the other the other like minor kind of plus I would say is that he's the only chairman so far to have organized the women's PSL uh, in yeah. any shape yeah. or form. And you know, if if he had stayed on, I I, I personally feel. And, you know, maybe I'm giving him too much credit, but I personally feel he would have pursued that had he stayed on. Um, See, the, and he's the, the Majum Sheikhi, Zaka Ashraf, all these guys have miserably failed in in trying to get that off the ground. Where there is time, there is now the money. They've got so much extra money from the ICC. Now there really is a time and 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 place for Pakistan to set up a women's PSL is is right now, and they really should do it. But, you know, a succession of chairmen since him have not even thought about it for like five minutes. No, but the thing that I was thinking about the first thing, the problem that I see there is that the women's PSL like PGL is, can be a very good idea. Hmm. The problem, you know, PGL is not that I'm against that per se. It's just that you have, if you're, especially if you're, you're not, if you're the ideas guy, there's some consultant, the PCP is hired and you come up with this, then you've done your job, great work. But if you're the chairman, so your job is actually yeah. to pull it off. Idea to koi bhi le aega bhai, aap ko mm-hmm. pull off kaise karo ge? Wahi pe mujhe wo hai ke beshak, I think you're completely right, he should be credited for promoting the women's game, for pushing for the women's PSL, etc. But yahi pe hai ke, jab aapne PSL se itne phadde liye mein, both the franchises and the event itself, then again, it would have been very difficult yeah. for you to sustain a women's PSL, right? So, वहाँ पे जो जो issues ये नहीं है कि उसके views क्या थे या वो क्यों आया था या क्या था is that particularly in this tenure for you know for me I was too like I was just a fan in his first tenure तो मैंने काफी साल बाद जब हम लोग ने उस story पे काम किया था that's when I kind of looked at it in depth so I don't have strong opinions outside of what I researched. But in this tenure, mein, both as a journalist and someone who's working in the industry and knew a lot of people working in the industry, ye baat thi ke, there was a lot of, there was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of stuff that Rambo did that was a bit indefensible. Aur uh, isi I think, no, hey, it was a lot of Vela thesis hai, potentially. Nobody's ever going to do it. I'm certainly not going to do it. And I don't think anyone really should take it up seriously. But there's a thesis there. Very interesting on Rambo's relationship with the PSL. I think there is a certain amount of FOMO there in that this great product was created in which he was not involved at all in the creation of, um, and it's exactly the kind of thing that you would, you know, that you would think that he would be proud of, like having put on this planet and the PSL lie and all this. I think there's a thesis there in his somewhat weird relationship with the PSL. Like he, you know, he's been a prominent feature through comms and commentary and stuff, but I think. As chairman, some of those tensions came out um, in that he wanted to impose something of himself on what is arguably Pakistan cricket's most successful product other than the players ever and in, definitely in the last 20 years or so. And I think there's a little bit of FOMO there that he wasn't in on the action and that it was a bunch of young guys uh, and you know overseen by guys like Rajam Sethi and, and Dariya Khan. But it's a bunch of kids who basically set the PSL up in Pakistan. And I think, you know, maybe that at some level, that is something that he feels like that is an idea that he should have had and come and come out with. That's the thesis right there. <laughs> There's no more I mean, to it, but the thesis. <laughs> Mera, I, I feel, again, having been... Ab kuch cheez, yahan pe I would say that whatever I'm going to say next is more subjective. Right? Like this is coming from just kind of being around at that first PSL. And Rambo's generation, not just Rambo himself, they all, bar none, thought the PSL was a disastrously stupid yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. Like, they all just thought this is the dumbest thing you can think of. And they were waiting for it to fail. They were waiting yes. for it to fail. Yeah. Yes. And now, what do you think about it? What do you think that Rambo has on record? Kuch ka hai? Nahin, hai, bas nahin hai. Uh, but again, I was there, we, you know, we, 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 you'd be sitting in like uh, the press boxes of Dubai and Sharjah and खुली बातें चल रही होती थी बोर्ड के अंदर लोग थे जिनको hmm. यकीन नहीं था कि यू नो क्या सीन होगा सो या लाइक आई फील दैट दैट हैंग ऑन लेट मी स्विच दिस Hmm. 
सॉरी भाई नहीं नहीं या सॉरी um hmm. yeah so you know like i think yeah this 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 there is definitely some unresolved emotional issues yeah. at play <laughs> that that uh that we can't go with. um but yeah anyways that's that's so all the ramble stuff we have more hamare paas i think ab humne almost ghanta kar liya hai so maybe we can save uh-huh. this for maybe as for the things it. Yeah, we've been teasing for the last two episodes. I this. swear to God, <laughs> but uh, is हर दफा टीज करके ना करने का फायदा ये होता है कि जो just to tell you if you haven't heard this before, um, this guy called Arsala who reached out to me on Instagram, or um, him and his uh, friend Hamza, um, they both into uh, data and cricket, and they sent us. They did, did some great work. ऑन द पी एस एल एंड हमने कुछ उनसे सवाल पूछे कि आप इसका हमें डेटा भेजें मंजन हमें आगे भी बेचना होगा बट या आई होप दिस दिस वॉज यू नो दिस आई होप वी बेस्ट ऑफ पी सी सी आई पीपल इंडियन फैंस and you know indian nationalists so please uh, send a lot of comments don't press the dislike button um we'll answer, we'll answer, some, we'll answer some questions in those comments as yeah, well yeah sure yeah or uh, yeah i think ravi jaja ke bare mein kafi log dher se log pooch rahe the and we wanted to do something uh, in ye case ne unne nikal diya ye sirf jo algorithm hai jo hamari puri duniya chalate hain hamare aaka hamare kaid Uh, उनको उनका पेट भरने के लिए क्योंकि अगर हर हफ्ते एक हाजिरी ना पेश की जाए तो वो हमारे वैसे ही फजूल नंबर्स को और हिट पड़ती है तो इसलिए हमने कहा कि आपके लिए एक और किस्त पेश खदमत है इवन दो हमारे दोनों मालिक में चार घंटे का फर्क है मगर मेरी और उस्मान की उतनी ही नींद कम है <laughs> we have a bunch of topics to do uh ek do news thi ek do aisi cheeze thi jo comments mein aapne kafi dafa mention kiya tha humne socha ki na uske bare mein baat karne um so we're going to start off by talking about the rumors of a cricket champions league uh that that came out um which is basically cr- uh, cricket victoria uh, head was like um You know, he basically said that the things are going between the boards of the big three. That if the Champions League T20 is revived, he said. He also acknowledged that when it happened, the tournament was not going well. But now the time is right. This is the final game. Usman, thoughts? Yeah. So basically, this cricket Victoria chairman has come in. You know, I think that when you see it, it's a good thing. 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 You know, people might think, especially those who follow Pakistan cricket, that yeah, state association का कोई chief है वो क्या बकवास कर रहा है? Who cares? Because <laughs> Pakistan में and even India state association के जो head होते हैं उनकी कोई याने इतनी कोई importance नहीं होती है, इतनी कोई अहमियत नहीं होती है, nobody listens them. But in Australia, these state associations are important units, stakeholders. So he was Nick Cummins was at the launch of some thing in India. एक कोई अकेडमी टाइप चीज ये लोग लॉन्च कर रहे थे तो वहां किसी ने उनसे पूछा कि यू नो बिकॉज़ आईपीएल इज ऑन समबडी आस्क्ड हिम लाइक हे व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट द आईडिया ऑफ रिवाइविंग द चैंपियंस लीग चैंपियंस लीग पहले चल चुकी है चार पांच सीजन चली थी और चार पांच चली थी आई थॉट लाइक दो थे चार सीजन में चली थी चार सीजन डेफिनेटली चली थी इतनी वो सक्सेसफुल यानी सक्सेसफुल थी एक्चुअली इट वाजंट सो बैड लाइक इट वाज क्वाइट अ थिंग बट यू नो आई थिंक उसमें it was too nascent a format at that stage maybe for it to be ideal really... teams weren't winning yeah yeah so now he has said nick cummins has said ke teeno board ke darmiyan baatein actively chal rahi hain uh, and the more important stuff that he said is you know he's he's basically argued ke ab perfect time hai to hmm. push on a champions league hmm. uh, because aapke paas itni leagues hain around the world and and his kind of underlying rationale was ke 
आपके पास इतनी सारी लीग्स हैं मगर आपके पास एक कोई ऐसा टूर्नामेंट नहीं है जहां दुनिया के सबसे अच्छे जो सबसे बेहतरीन जो टी ट्वेंटी प्लेयर्स हैं वो इकट्ठे एक साथ खेल रहे हो एक दूसरे के खिलाफ दी ऑब्वियस रिस्पॉन्स दैट इज यू डू हैव द टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप विच इज एग्जैक्टली सपोज टू बी दैट बट यू नो आई मीन सो ही इज ऑल्सो लाइक एंड डेट टू जो नाइन्टीज में जो डिबेट चलता था फुटबॉल में कि इंटरनेशनल फुटबॉल ज्यादा प्रायोरिटी लेना चाहिए या क्लब फुटबॉल उस वक्त तक आई थिंक क्लब फुटबॉल की सुप्रमसी हो गई थी स्टैब्लिश ठीक ठाक मगर वो डिबेट फिर भी थोड़ा बहुत चल रहा था ही सेंग कि क्रिकेट इज एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ दैट स्टेज राइट नाउ वे पीपल आर काइंड ऑफ यू नो आर्ग्यूइंग अबाउट के क्लब्स के लिए खेलना चाहिए प्लेयर्स को या इंटरनेशनल टीम के लिए खेलना चाहिए ही यू नो ही इज नॉट जस्ट बींग आइडियलिस्टिक अबाउट इट ही हैज सेट कि ये इतने सारे ऑब्स्टिकल्स हैं विच विल डिस्कस नाउ बट basic point was that this is a good time to do it this is the best time to do it and the three financially strongest boards in the world are actively talking about it so that's you know that's a fair bit of a bombshell so like next time the boards get together journalists like myself basically will ask them ke bhai kahan tak pahunche hain aap is pe and all this so you know there is stuff happening um but he was realistic enough to kind of acknowledge ke isme issues honge bahut hmm shuru mein um which we can start on you know right now like my, the obvious one is ke aap ek ek to aapke jo aapke jo league calendar hai one of the problems is that three or four of the leagues and a growing number of leagues now have franchises owned by the same entity in them you know ilt 20 mein teen teen ipl owners ki hain mlc takriban pura hi chal raha hai IPL owners ka Mumbai Indians have teams in the ILT20 they have teams in the SA20 they have teams in the MLC in the US how do you get over that kind of wrinkle of one mm. ownership across four leagues so ek example do abhi uh, the other day in the IPL um Rajasthan Royals ke liye Trent Bolt like absolutely polacks the top order of Mumbai Indians um in in the IPL took like three wickets in his first three overs एकदम खत्म करके रख दिया ट्रेंड बोल्ट आउटसाइड ऑफ द आई पी एल वेर हीज प्लेइंग फॉर राजस्थान रॉयल्स राइट नाउ इज अ मुंबई इंडियंस एम्प्लॉई हु प्लेज फॉर मुंबई इंडियंस टीम मुंबई इंडियंस टीम इन लाइक अदर लीग्स सो यू नो हाउ डू काइंड ऑफ या सो इट्स काइंड ऑफ लाइक यूर यूर काइंड ऑफ सेंग के रोनाल्डो प्लेड फॉर रियाल मेड्रिड इन वन टूर्नामेंट वाइल ही वॉज प्लेइंग फॉर आई डोट नो मैन यू इन अदर टूर्नामेंट you know it's that kind of situation so how do you resolve that issue basically and, and how do you get over the fact that aapke ek hi owners are so this would be like you know abu dhabi's man city owners who own three other clubs and they're all playing in the champions league you know what do you do with that that's quite a it's like fundamental ek issue hai kafi i mean i think ye, ye thoda sa uh, mere khayal mein sawal ka jawab isi baat mein hai na ke um सिर्फ क्रिकेट में ये मसला नहीं है आपके पास ये काइंड ऑफ सिस्टर क्लब्स जिन्हें कहते हैं एक 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 किस्म की ये मुहिम फुटबॉल में आपको दिखाई दे रही है जहाँ पे सिटी फुटबॉल ग्रुप ऑब्वियसली सबसे ऑब्वियस वो है बट काफ़ी सारी अमेरिकन हेज फंड्स जिन्होंने इन्वेस्ट किया हुआ है उन्होंने भी यू नो मल्टीपल टीम्स में किया हुआ है विद दैट सेम इंटेंशन के हम यू नो यहाँ का बंदा वहाँ वहाँ का यहाँ करेंगे तो मतलब आई थिंक कि यूर राइट कि वो एक बहुत बड़ा इशू है पर मेरे ख्याल में एटलीस्ट ये है कि वो इट्स नॉट यू नो कि वो ऐसा नहीं है कि सिर्फ क्रिकेट में कि ये मुनफरिद इशू है आई थिंक क्रिकेट का इको सिस्टम इतना बड़ा नहीं है लाइक यू नो सो दिटी मैं इसी बात पर आने लगा हाँ अदर क्लब्स आर प्लेइंग इन लाइक द यू एस लीग और ऑस्ट्रेलिया देर नेवर कैन प्ले इन द मेन टूर्नामेंट टूगेदर इसमें क्रिकेट इज सो स्मॉल एंड दिस इज वेयर एक्चुअली क्रिकेट जो अपनी बकवास करता है ना कि हम सेकेंड बिगेस्ट ग्लोबल स्पोर्ट है ये सब बकवास जो है उसकी बी एस है क्रिकेट की kitne saalon se they're feeding us that cool aid this is where it works against you because you're not actually your geographical spread is like still 12 countries max of which nine are functioning properly of which three are like clearly the biggest over the others you're going to have a champions league in which you'll have one owner who owns potentially three teams in that league you know it's not going to be like ke aapki champions league european champions league mein european champions league mein ultimately only one owner plays or one set of owners has one team in that champions league i think nahi uh red bull misal ke taur pe uh but they're not majority the owners huh? they're not like full ownership no right? they have red bull salzburg and they have uh, red bull leipzig like two mukhtalif leagues mein and then okay. i think city also has like a spanish and italian no, top no no city does not have any other 
ownership in the city or not. And in any case, I think in football, it would be the exception rather than the rule. Cricket, ah, Champions, people, League people. Mein, cricket Champions League, mein, agar aap art team lete hai, it's quite possible that you have two owners who have got those eight teams. So essentially, you might be like, it might be the owners of KKR, ultimately against the owners of Mumbai Indians. All of that. It would be run by, it would be like with clubs of two owners, basically. You know, which is like a ridiculous state of affairs. It's, it's difficult to kind of overcome that. I think that one, let's go, I'm ready to talk about this too. I'm ready to talk about this too. You know, that Ambani's three teams are playing with each other. I think that the biggest problem will be in the squads, right? So, you have seen a tweet before that, where someone said that this is a very simple match, you can play with each other. And the other thing is that if you have two teams, then you can play with each other. I'll just read the tweet out and then we can talk. So this is Ben Jones, Quickwiz analyst has worked with you know T20 leagues and teams around the world. Basically, वो England का हसन चीमा है essentially, but I think हसन चीमा might have more titles. I'm not sure, but I think he might. So he he basically tweeted saying that let's get the winners of the IPL, the PSL, the BBL, the BPL, the LPL, the CPL, the SA20 and the 100 straight knockout, play it in a week. Uh, if you play for two teams involved, play for your home team. And if you don't have a home team, uh, then you play for the team with most appearances and the win- winning nation hosts it next year. Just do yeah. it. It's, so I you think, know, yeah, go on. Give Allah Jo is made. I think that's a really good solution in the sense that you have all these simple answers. Now, the problem is that I also had another point to come to the other side, that it will never happen. When the first Champions League was in the IPR team, you know, I think when he says that it didn't work out, like a big reason was that was that the IPR team had to break up. Like, you know, that... ये ही क्रिकेट मतलब अभी जो बात किया ना कि क्रिकेट एस पर लोगन रॉय इज नॉट अ सीरियस पर्सन के आप अभी तक अपनी ऊट पटांग हरकत में चल रहे हैं क्योंकि इसी इसकी जो बात जहां से शुरू हुई है कि हमें ये पता चला कि ये होने लगा है क्योंकि बिग थ्री आपस में इस पे गुफ्तगु कर रहे थे <laughs> और मतलब कि एक मजाक बनाया हुआ इन्होंने पिछली एपिसोड अगर हमारी यू नो पीसीबी क्लाउन सीजन थी तो ICC clown season I don't think ever ended and it's it's क्योंकि गोरे वो रहे हैं और ये वो तो आपको इतना उनको उनकी तंकी करना नहीं चाहते और लोग शर्माते हैं करने से मगर point ये it's 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 a you know as you just said it's a joke और वहाँ पे ये ये कि अब आपके पास एक तो बच कुछ के ही नौ टीमें हैं उसमें से भी जो हैं वो तीन ही सारे फैसले लेते हैं और जो वो फैसले ले भी रहे हैं और to be और वहाँ पे वो repeatedly वो ये बच्चों वाली हरकतें होंगी कि अच्छा नहीं हमारा बंदा है तो वो हमारे लिए खेलेगा but दूसरे टीम में नहीं खेल सकेगा और वो उनके लिए नहीं होगा ये वो बाकी सबको मतलब यू नो यू स्ट्रिप देम फॉल देर स्टार्स एंड दैट्स प्रॉब्ली द ओनली वे यू कैन गेट आईपीएल साइट्स टू ट्री एंड एस कि जो चेयरमैन साहब हैं या वोटेवर विक्टोरिया के वो पिछली दफा भी जो मसला मसले थे तो वो कुछ बदला नहीं है ऐसा नहीं है कि एकदम से आईपीएल या इट्स बिकम इवन मोर कॉम एंड एंड ही सेड निक कमिंस ने बोला ही उसी प्रेस प्रेस इंटरेक्शन में यू नो ही हैड इट इन हिम ही सेड कि लुक द द द राइट पर्सन टू एक्चुअल उसके उसके हाँ या ना के बगैर कुछ नहीं हो सकता है। These are two pieces of dead in the water। तो ये और ये मेरा अगला point था कि अब comments में लोग आके मार दिमाग खराब करेंगे तो मैं अपने loves थोड़े चुन के इस्तेमाल करूँगा। कि जे शाह जो है वो बेटा है अमित शाह का। ठीक है अब हम सबको पता है इसमें तो कोई शक नहीं है कि जे शाह has nothing to do with cricket, right? अ Prime Minister Modi's right hand man, blah blah blah. Um, or ke ye baat maine abhi usko kisi aur podcast mein kiya. Ham dono ne kafi jagah kiye ke BCCI ki ek bahot labbi tarikh hai where it was a really really powerful institution. Matlab puri tarikh se 
पूरी तरीके से तो नहीं मगर बहुत आजाद इदारा था खास तौर पे जब इनके काफी पावरफुल चेयरमैन रहे थे और आजाद से मेरा ये मतलब कि इंडिया के जो बाकी रियासती इदारे थे उनका ऑलवेज प्रेशर द बीसीसीआई टू डू व्हाट दे वांट राइट बीसीसीआई वाज नॉट एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इन पर्टिकुलर ये अब इंडिया में बदल चुकी है इसमें भी कोई शक नहीं क्योंकि जे शाह अगर बीसीसीआई कर रहा है तो यह वाजे और जिस पार्टी की वजह से वो आया है इस अहदे पे उनका काफी क्लियर एजेंडा है पाकिस्तान के खिलाफ राइट तो आपके पास फिर यहाँ पे चले मतलब मे बी जस्ट जगमोहन डालमिया पी सी सी आए आई कुड सी दम पुलिंग दिस ऑफ यू नो तो वो पंगा ले लेंगे अपनी हुकूमत से जो कुछ भी जे शाह पी सी सी आए आई मीन के यू नो के मतलब वो तो उसमें आई वुड मतलब उस, उस, उसकी गलती भी नहीं है क्योंकि वो तो किसी मकसद के लिए आए ना उसको उसको नहीं इसलिए नहीं डाला है कि वो बड़ा कोई होनेहार बंदा है बड़े अच्छे आइडिया से इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट इन सम लेवल बिकम्स एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द रूलिंग गवर्नमेंट यू नो मैंडेट्स एंड एंड ऑप्शन इन इंडिया तो उसी मतलब यू नो कि मुझे मुझे ये बात अभी हम जब ये गुस्तु करने में आते तो मेरी ये सड़ रही थी कि ये क्या मकसद है हम बाकी दुनिया के इसके बारे में सोचने का यू नो क्योंकि आपने आई लाइक दी ओनली वे यू गेट कपल ऑफ पॉइंट ऑन दिस एक तो जे शाहर एज बी सी सी आई है टाइम ओवर एंड बट हिज नेक्स्ट स्टेप is probably as icc chairman so that, that's like apparently that the rumors are ki you know he'll take over from greg barkley as the next icc guy so there's that that's one point the other point is that to his credit nick cummins you know aur ye bahut sare log nahi keh sakte hain aur kahenge but i think he got away with it because you know he's an australian and i guess they're loved in and india but he's a guy not a yeah i know he's an australian guy at that press interaction that you know you don't have pakistani players in the ipl and he re- referenced he, the, he he started off the conversation very interestingly actually by saying that you know we want to know what the best league in the world is the P- psl are constantly saying that they're bigger and better than the bbl we don't believe that but the only way to do that is to have say karachi kings worst example play melbourne <laughs> stars and 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 find out who the best team is so you know i found it interesting that he stars he hardest serve team hai na ha huh? stars hardest serve ki team hai Yes, yes. So, Man, if a Lahore Pacer destroys Karachi Kings for an Australian team, the narrative. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, I, I found it interesting that he took the PSL as the natural kind of reference point for his own league, you know, the BBL, mm-hmm. and also that he brought up the issue of Pakistani players not being, and, and he used that as one of the justifications for a league like this. So, it, you know, if if I'm not overstretching it. Then, जो बातें हो रही हैं या हुई हैं उसमें इन लोग ने ऑब्वियसली पाकिस्तान और पी एस एल को क्वेश्चन तो डिस्कस करा होगा एंड आई थिंक आई विल गिव क्रिकेट ऑस्ट्रेलिया इन ई सी बी दैट मच क्रेडिट दे विल ब्रिंग इट अप इफ नॉट पुश फॉर इट एंड मेक श्योर दैट इट हैपन दे विल एटलीस्ट ब्रिंग इट अप विद द बी सी सी आई के देखो अगर ऐसी कोई लीक होनी है उसमें पाकिस्तानी प्रेजेंस होना जरूरी है अब वो बाद में जाके अगर टॉक्स एडवांस भी होती हैं कितना पुश करें उस पॉइंट पे वो एक अलग बात है बट आई विल गिव दम दिस क्रेडिट के दे वुड हैव ब्रॉट इट अप व्हिच इज व्हाई दिस गाय इज आल्सो ब्रिंगिंग इट अप एंड ही इज इन फैक्ट हिज फर्स्ट रेफरेंस पॉइंट वाज अ पीएसएल कंपैरिजन विद द बीपीएल द अदर थिंग इज दैट यू नो द बीसीसीआई नीड्स टू लेट इंडियन प्लेयर्स गेट आउट ऑफ जस्ट लाइक नॉट बीइंग अलाउड टू प्ले इन एनी अदर लीग यू नो दैट इज समथिंग दैट इज लाइक आल्सो एट द सेंटर ऑफ दिस होल डिस्कशन इज कि आपके पास इतनी टैलेंट है इतना पूल है आपका प्लेयर्स का who are not going to get into the IPL team all the time you know ek abhi parso mein dekh raha tha ek unka naya aaya hai kya hai m siddharth he's a uh, he's a bowler for uh, i think sunrisers he's a left arm really interesting left arm spinner who used to be a pacer okay so his his hero was irfan pathan i don't know why you would have a hero as irfan pathan when you're a left arm bowler but anyway so he he started off bowling pace Somebody told him you should become a left-arm spinner, 
And the reason he took my attention was that he he's a really interesting left arm spinner that he's very quick. So, you know, Mehran Mumtaz, who was playing in PSL, he was quickish. This guy is even quicker. This guy is like 100, 110 kilometers an hour regularly. And he has an arm ball that is actually an in-swinger. So he's like Imad Vaseem, but quick. And yet he's still a spinner. So he played an IPL game the other day, got Kohli out. His first IPL wicket, he got Kohli out. Um, uska main interview padha tha, and like he is, he basically got that game through a series of circumstances which allowed him to play that game because ahead of him are like four spinners in that spot. I think he's Sunrisers. Ashwin is still a kid. Ashwin plays for Sunrisers, which and I, I don't know which one. He plays I for one of them. I have zero interest. Yeah, in I can't remember. But he's basically fourth in that pecking order. So, he has not many opportunities. He is okay. He should be, at least my thinking is, that he should be allowed to play in other leagues. Yeah. He, they should be allowed to populate these other leagues. They've got so many players there who cannot possibly, in a free market, all get a platform on the IPL. Just allow them to play in other leagues. Like, enhance the, the quality of those leagues, enhance the value of those leagues as well. Especially now... If you are owning clubs in those other leagues, surely you can push for more Indian players who might not make it in the IPL to play in those leagues. You know, and then I I, I, I I start to spread towards. Uh, no, no, I'm saying that I, then you start getting a proper spread of talent that makes an idea like this thrive. You know, abhi wo artificial hai. Abhi everything is artificial in cricket. Like Champions League football, mein, the free market has made it. The most communist, well, it hasn't, but the free market has at least ensured that best players are playing for the best clubs and usually against each other. I mean, Cricket best players are not playing for the best clubs, the best players are playing for the richest clubs. Magar, if you have at least a big pool, you have a pool, you have excitement, you have a good team, you have a good team, you have a good team. I think that the Pishli Jong path is that Indian Kiladi is in all legal. So, I think that. Ye sochna fundamentally misunderstands the modern BCCI. Because I feel they've made it very clear that, like, you know, we're going to give our players so much money that they shut yeah. the fuck up. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baat inone, apne, uh, uh, BJP hukumat pe capture se pehle hi, BCCI had made that very clear. Oh, this has nothing right? to do with this. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm saying is that. The IPL से बाहर ना खेलने वाला भी इडिक उसी सोच से आता है ना कि यार ये सब हमारे हाथ में ही रहे ठीक है अब जो जो which brings us to that ownership thing because like कल अब अब नाज़रीन आपसे माज़रत है कि अब थोड़ा सा मीडिया थेरी की तरफ भी जा रहे हैं already एक boring topic को मैं और boring करने लगा हूँ <laughs> but essentially कल रात में ये पढ़ रहा था कि uh, and American sports have actually already been ahead of the curve on this but कि not just sports but अमेरिका में live sports के अलावा बाकी सारा जो visual culture media जो कुछ भी है वो exclusivity अब खत्म करने लगा उसकी सबसे बड़ी मिसाल ये थी कि HBO का Sex and the City mm-hmm. is now on Netflix um, mm-hmm. and they were explaining why we've had this move towards the end of exclusivity where you know like four or five years ago when uh, when they took Friends off Netflix and Office off Netflix it was a big deal and the market the industry is going that way, going this way. Point on Kasari Beta, Kapo, a big saturation point. So, you know, you even can play like Xbox games on your PlayStation, which was a big deal. But the point is now, okay, everyone, like the guy who runs one of these two companies, like, okay, everyone who can buy a console has bought a console. So, if you have to grow, we can't keep exclusivity. We have to use everywhere, blah, blah. Yes, Miss Alka was point here, okay, they reach, when you reach a certain saturation point, then you have to drop these kinds of behaviors. It feels like at some level, we're close to, we're not there yet, we're close yeah. to cricket being saturated within the Indian economy. Because there is a desire to kind of push out and, uh, you know, like this IPL can only cater to so much of that uh, demand or you know the supply of like capital coming into it or whatever. IPL ko aapke yaan, end of the day wo sirf do chalti. It's not a proper year round league. Or us wajah se I feel ki agar cricket mein koi international cricket mein khas toh pe or as a sport or as a whole agar koi bada badi tabdili aayegi to isi wajah se aayegi ki Indian stakeholders you know will mm-hmm. start getting irritated. I think players as stakeholders don't have that power. 
which again for people like us who grew up in the 90s it's insane to think a you know like a like a modern day sachin can't do shit basically <laughs> you know ah, um, yeah it's it's but, come from the owners it's going to come from it's going to come from the owners yeah. right ke aapke paas now you have these billionaires involved or yeah. unko they yeah. want to grow these brands grow this investment yeah. seeds etc to wahan pe fir shayad kuch ho but you know again like it's just as likely that you like i think ye expect karna ke uh ek ek uh, ek rational kisam ki champions hi kheli jayegi i think if i had to read it i'd give that 1% but Nain, i you know what i think so just to finish ke yeah. i personally think is far more likely to happen is ke within 5 to 10 years ipl ek uh, all year round cheese ban jayega mm. with yeah. the pakistani players with all of the things yeah. that are already yeah. exist that is definitely a likelier scenario 100% yeah. the you know the the interesting thing about the ownership hum log jo baat kar rahe the na ki they need to assert themselves i i found it very interesting and this is probably the last point on this subject is that uh just in the run up to this ipl the bcci has actually Asserted its authority over like cricket in the country, or who IPL owners, who they have made one kind of pressure by saying that you know people who like I think Ishan Kishan and uh, Shreyas Iyer missed test matches for various reasons. Ishan Kishan said that he needed a mental health break, took time off from international cricket. Uh, Iyer had a back injury. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but both of them turned out for practice for their IPL franchises. and that led the bcci to not only cancel their central contract so they didn't not cancel but they didn't pick them in their new central contracts pool also jay shah sent out a letter to all like kind of stakeholders in cricket and said that international cricket and playing domestic cricket not ipl takes priority over ipl so i found it very interesting in the last few months the bcci has asserted the authority of the domestic game without the ipl and the national game ki aapko agar ipl aapko agar india ke liye khelna hai to you have to play domestic cricket not necessarily ipl and rohit has also come out and said ki we will only have those cricketers in our team who are hungry for test cricket who want to play test cricket so badi in log ne ek, and, and you know then no but then they 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 put the money where their mouth is at least they've increased again they've increased they've incentivized playing test cricket for india they they've started paying more money i just find it interesting in that when the whole world is going the other way on the back of something that you created so the IPL the whole world is moving to that direction india under this administration the bcci somehow is like nay nee, actually test cricket is way more important or hum test players ko aur paisa denge agar aap badmashi karenge ki aap national game miss karke aap ipl ke liye khelenge to hum ye bhi karenge ranji trophy mein aapko ranji trophy mein aapko zyada zyada paise milenge aap aur ab wo keh rahe hain ki agar aap ranji nahi khelte hain so then you will not be selected for the ipl stuff like this they're they're moving over there so see but like i think wohi baat hai na ki agar hum isko sirf literally le to yeah it's interesting magar ek as you said ki ye surat hal exist isliye karti hai kyunki inhone hi khadi hai okay aur yahan pe i don't think ke test cricket ke mohabbat se kuch ho raha hai bas yahi hai ke you know it's a power struggle right ke matlab um we're not yeah. we, i like it it's a bad look for the bcci if you've got ir and uh, ishan kishan like skipping national duties and i don't know for the struggle i think if you look at the history of bcci administration and the chairman so you have outliers like lalit modi who set up the ipl and had crazy other ideas as well but mostly aap n shrinivasan ko dekhein aap ab jay shah ko dekhein dalmia ko dekhein they were all fairly conservative in like them thinking that yes the international game is still the bedrock of the game wo itna purana ek hai hai दूसरी बात में कहने लगा था कि अभी तो आप ये मसल फ्लेक्स कर रहे हैं और इतना बड़ा इश्यू भी नहीं बट दिंग इज दैट नॉट ऑल बट देर मल्टीपल आई पी एल ओनर्स हुर मैसिव स्टेक होल्डर्स विद द स्टेट एंड द बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट Yeah, yeah, of course. And their election campaign. So, if Jaisa, if cricket, if I, or whoever bats, is more chichi, say that I don't want to play IPL team, nahi khelna, and you know, I don't. Ambani is not like that. But let's say if there's like one that the RCB ke jo owner tha uh, Malia, Vijay Malia, uh, Vijay Malia, an owner like that who's like more involved, but with the influence of maybe someone higher, like. Forget, 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 forget. 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 Forget, forget.
He's on record yeah. like a year ago saying that we should have year-round contracts for IPL players. But or go, 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 not just give for IPL, but like they can also call up the government. They can call up people above Jaisha and be like, "Yo, dude, you want you really like you want to fuck with us over here? So, kal tomar yahan bhi campaign hai. You need this, you need that. Like IPL owners are big enough. Like you know, kab wo alag baat hai ki kya wo is hukumat ke saath karein ya na karein. But I think the way it's set up structurally. उस तरीके का सलूक नहीं कर सकते जो प्लेयर्स के साथ करते हैं क्योंकि आईपीएल ओनर्स आर कम्प्लीटली मैं बगैर क्योंकि वही है ना कि अभी तक द बी सी सी आई ऑल्सो दिस इज आई मीन पंद्रह साल में पहली दफा उन्होंने इस तरीके की बात की ना तो ऐसा भी नहीं है कि बी सी सी आज गिवन दम लॉर्ड फॉर दिस एपिसोड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लिसनिंग एंड खास तौर पर अगर आपने एंड तक देख लिया तो लॉट्स ऑफ लव एंड सलाम टू यू बजाज माई सेल्फ टेक केयर बाय